Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. Have you ever been using your Linux computer and you typed your password in wrong three times? And then you get a message saying, because you typed it in wrong three times, you're locked out for 10 minutes. And then there's a 10 minute timer. And then you have to wait for that timer to wind down to zero before you can uh, type your password in properly and get into your system. So today, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So let's get to it. So today I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. I'm going to log out. And in this virtual machine, I do have a uh, display manager or login manager installed, but it's not running. I just, when I log into this virtual machine, I just go into the TTY. But what I'm going to show you applies to logging in with the TTY or logging in with a display manager or a login manager. It also applies to when you're working in the terminal and uh, you're doing things in the terminal and it needs your password. And uh, it's also applicable for if you're using a lock screen, right? And you use your lock screen because you go away and you come back and you mistype it three times, okay? So wherever you're logging into with your password, this is applicable. What I'm gonna do is exit. And now I'm going to put my username in. And now I'm going to put my password in wrong. So that's one time. I'm going to put my username in again. I'm going to put my password in again wrong. That's two times. And I'm going to do, oops. And I'm going to put my username in again. And my password in three times. Okay, so I did it three times. Now let's try a fourth time. Mench. So look at the account is locked due to three failed logins. 10 minutes left to unlock. So the way it's running right now by default, I have to wait 10 minutes before I can put my password in carefully and accurately and log into the system. Let's just hit enter. So what I'm gonna do is log in as root and I'm gonna put root's password in. Okay, so I'm logged in as root. I'm gonna clear the screen, control L, and I'm gonna type in this command, fail, lock, dash dash reset okay now i'm going to exit now i'm going to put mention and i'm going to put my password in really carefully <laughs> let's see if i can get in and i'm in <laughs> see that okay so that's one way of dealing with it now you might be thinking okay that's fine but you're already in the tty so you could uh log in as root and do a reset and that's true but let's do it differently. Let's say, um, well, let's say I lock my screen. So I have i3 lock in here. Now this is, like I said, this is the awesome window manager, but I have i3 lock installed. So if I do my menu and I click on lock, it locks it with uh, i3 lock. So let's do three failed uh, password attempts. Wrong lock. But this one's not going to give me a countdown. This one is not going to give me like an error message saying, you did it wrong three times and you're going to have to wait 10 minutes. And it's just because of the way i3 lock works. I think I did it three times, right? That's my fourth time. So now what I'm going to do? Well, you're going to press control alt. Now I'm logged in through the um, TTY. So I'm logged in on TTY1. If you logged in through uh, a login manager, like uh, a display manager, like LightDM, in all likelihood, you're on TTY7. But because I logged in through Stardex from the TTY, I'm in TTY1. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to do a Control Alt F2, F3, F4, F5, whatever. So I logged on to TTY5. Then you're going to do root, put root's password in. And now we're going to do a reset. Fail, lock, reset. And I'm going to exit out of there. But now I'm going to use Control Alt F1 to get back into the awesome window manager. But like I said, if you used a, a login manager or a display manager like LightDM or some other one, you probably have to do Control Alt F7 to get back there. So now I'm going to do a Control Alt F1. So now I'm going to put my password in. And there we are. We're in. Let's log out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open a terminal and I'm going to start LightDM. sudo system. Control enable light DM. Put my password in and I'm going to reboot. 
Okay, so we've rebooted to LightDM. Let's put my password in. Wrong, three times. Let's do it again. That's the second time, right? This is the third time. Now it's telling me 10 minutes left to unlock. So now I'm going to do a control alt F1, F2, F3, F4, whatever. But right now we're on F7 because I, I logged in through LightDM, my display manager. So I'm not going to do a control alt F7. I'll have to do that to get back here. So let's do a control alt 5. So now we're on TTY5. I'm going to do root. I'm going to put root's password in and I'm going to reset it. So I'm going to do fail lock dash dash reset and let's just get out of there let's exit out now i'm going to do a control alt f7 to get back to tty f7 because that's where my uh, display manager is or light dm is okay now let's put my password in now for some reason you got to do one wrong one this time i don't know why there we go and now we're in so that's how you reset it without having to wait 10 minutes now there's another way you can deal with it and you can change the defaults. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to open up a terminal. Let's go into X term. We're going to CD into Etsy, secure it T. And then we're going to, let's just LS it. And we're going to Vim into fail to lock.conf. So it's an Etsy security. And because it's an Etsy, we have to use sudo or root. You can log into root and do it. So I'm going to do a sudo Vim. Let's just tab it. Okay. I gotta put my password in and I'm at the top. Now, this file is all deactivated. It's all commented out. So if you scan down, everything is deactivated, right? So I'm gonna go to line 30. Now it tells you on line 31, even though that's deactivated, the default is three. So you're allowed three times. But in this file, line 31 is deactivated. So somewhere in another file, somewhere behind the scenes, the default is you get three tries. Now, where is that? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but it's telling you the default is three. So what we could do is uncomment line 32. We're going to make line 32 active. Okay. So I can take the comment out or the number sign out. And then I'm going to move over here and I'm going to change this three to a five. And let's put a five in. So now we're going to get five tries before we're locked out. That's a little more reasonable than three. And then I'm going to scan down to line 44 and 45. So line 44 is telling you the default is 600 seconds or 10 minutes. Now, again, this line is deactivated or commented out. There's a comment there, a number sign there. So it's deactivated. So somewhere in another file, somewhere in another place in the system, the default is 600 seconds or 10 minutes. And again, I don't know where that is, but what we could do is go to line 45. That was line 44, right? So we could go to line 45, delete the number sign or the hashtag to activate the line. And then we could change this from 600 to 120. The 120 would be two minutes. There we go. Let's save the file. So now what I'm going to do is let's close that and let's log out. Let's quit and let's log in. That's one. That's two. Now it's three. That's my third one. Now we have five tries, right? So let's do, um, that was four, right? So let's do my fifth try. And I'm locked out. Now it says, look it, we're locked out. Two minutes left to unlock. Okay, so now we had five tries and it's only locking us out for two minutes. But again, like if I don't want to wait, I can drop down to the TTY and just do a reset. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to deal with the situation when you type your password in wrong three times and you get locked out for 10 minutes. First of all, I showed you how you can log on to the TTY, log into root and do a reset so you don't have to wait the 10 minutes. Secondly, I showed you how you can change the lockout time. So by default, it's 10 minutes. You can change it to one minute, two minutes, whatever. Okay. And thirdly, 
I showed you how you could change the default three tries. You could change it to five tries or even 10 tries before you get locked out. And like I said, it works in a TTY. It works with your login manager or display manager. And it also works with your screen lock. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time. I am the Linux Mitch.